Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And in keeping with our hot weather cooking, we're going to make simple potato salad. At least this is the way I make potato salad. And you can have the base of this, this potato salad and then add to it whatever you like. All right, let's get started. What I have here is some boiled potatoes with the skins on. I just boil them and the eggs, make sure the eggs are clean. I boil them all together and then I just let them cool down. And I keep these in the fridge for whenever I want quick potato salad. But I just did cook these, so we'll be removing the water and putting them in a bowl after. Here are some cucumber bits that I harvested while I was making cucumber carafes for dinner. And that's pretty much it. You know, we're going to use some dehydrated onion, some green onion. But I mean, the basic is mayo, onion, eggs, and potatoes. Okay, thank you, Briar. Briar Hello. just Briar just went to the uh, garden and got me some of uh, the tops of some of my Egyptian walking onions. He made sure to take the ones that weren't reproducing this year. And now we're just going to get our bowl. And let's start with our potatoes. Now, you can cut them up by hand, but folks, when you got one of these puppies, why bother? Seriously. Just like that. And they're just, you know. But I got to tell you that uh, this year, I planted three rows of potatoes for a very good reason. Um, my canned potatoes, folks, make awesome potato salad. You don't have to boil it or nothing. You just take them out, drain them, and cut them up, and then add whatever you want. Now, one of the reasons I've gotten so good at making my homemade potato salad the way I like it is because... <laughs> The stuff you buy in the grocery store is so full of vinegar, you don't get the creaminess of the mayo and the egg and the chunks of egg and stuff. It's just loaded with vinegar so that it has a longer refrigerator life. Folks, if you boil your potatoes and keep them hard boiled eggs and some boiled potatoes in the fridge, you've always got the makings for some good potato salad. One more potato, only because I know Papa's gonna want some of this in his lunch tomorrow. And I know Briar will probably come up when no one's looking and go, ooh, potato salad. And he'll think that the bowl in the fridge is leftovers. And he'll just take the bowl and a spoon. I know him, you know, you can tell him, but you know, growing boys, even at the age of 23, they love their mom's cooking. Okay, so there's our potatoes. Now, every time I've made a video on how to perfect peel eggs and stuff, it has never turned out, especially with fresh eggs. But these are fresh eggs, and lately, they've just been peeling like Bob's your uncle. So, I don't know. Put it in the egg slicer. Thank you, Noreen. Now, I'm going to show you a trick I use just for potato salad. I slice it that way. And then I slice it that way. And it makes perfect cuts of your eggs for your potato salad. So I'm going to do the three eggs, and we'll be back when I'm going to put the rest of the ingredients in. Okay. Yes, that's the hammer you hear, folks. Papa is, once again, outside working as soon as he gets home. Okay, so now we're just going to take our green onions. And like I said, my son picked these. He cut these off with scissors from my Egyptian walking onions. But he took the ones that don't have the seed head tops on them. I, t I was very specific. Some of them are going to replicate this year. And... Uh, this is how I just keep the green onions coming. And if I get a really good batch, I'll just dehydrate some. And I'll save a little bit just to decorate the top. We'll put in our bits of cucumber that I used. Nothing goes to waste. We want some more onion. And 
in goes the mayo. You can add whatever seasonings you want. This was about three quarters of a cup of mayo. Again, you make it to the consistency that you like. Yukon Golds, now these are Canabacs and they're not cut, they didn't, they kind of boiled yellow and I think that's because I had the skins on them. But you know, don't be afraid to use colored potatoes in your potato salad, folks. Why? It adds loveliness. You know, food shouldn't be just nutritious, it should be pretty too. We'll just take a little bit of green onion, you could do parsley, you could do powdered kale, whatever you want. Sometimes a little bit of smoked paprika is nice. Sometimes just plain paprika or sweet paprika. And just for Papa, and there it is, potato salad that everybody will enjoy. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying, I don't buy potato salad from the store. Why? because I'm a potato salad snob. Take care, God bless.